Hey! Sabrina! <laughs> How Hi. are you? Good. You oh. again, you all set up? You're set up? You now you don't gotta you don't gotta remove your hat, but it's just it's it's ruining like your light a little bit. I like okay, there we go. There I we have go. pretty there long. I got go. a big forehead. You're familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me say this. Every now and then, because I get DMs from certain people, she actually sent me a DM and you call you you were quiet about being on the show. And I was honest, I had it wrong. <laughs> I know you were in a high profile relationship, and I said, Yeah, because you dated Chad Ocosinko, and you said, right, no, I said no, let's, that let's talk him. about that so I can talk about where these rumors come from. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just had it wrong. I knew I, I knew I knew you, your face from a relationship. Correct. But it was actually Lamar yes. Odom that you dated. Yes. So um, we don't got to spend a lot of time because we know we, you're looking for love in other areas. But how was that dating a high profile um, I mean, it wasn't my first time. I think it was the most exploited to be honest, um, but you know, it had, had its ups and it had its downs, just like any other relationship, I honestly say, but when he met me, you know, I just, I had a lot going on already. Like I was in Atlanta filming. Um, they were actually doing a pilot for the trainers and the gyms in Atlanta, which is like a big deal out there. Um, so I was on that show. The show never aired because uh, WeTV was having some issues, but um honestly i could just say it had its ups and it's had its downs and i'm but i am very grateful for every opportunity that i was able to come across just by dating him okay now i didn't know that she said he's not the first high profile person you dated See, who else did you date that you gotta do your profile? research kendra i'm not gonna come in here and, and well, well, I'm talking the to beans, you. I'm but research. no like, I'm I've, you directly. I've dated athletes multiple athletes i have kids okay well name somebody else because you said he wasn't the first i'm asking you my research best research i don't really like to talk too much but i don't lie so if someone asks me i just say yes or no so we'll we'll just say that but well you don't want right, to write so i'm not i'm I not it wasn't my first else. time um and so I was very familiar, but Lamar is different. We all know he's different. He has a different level of fame. He's been exposed to a lot of different things. You, some people know him from basketball. Some people know him from the Kardashians. So he was big on both ends of the spectrum. So um, it was interesting. But I've been, I've been, I've worked for ESPN Radio for eight years. I've been on air. I've done TV. I've done a lot of things where the celebrities were. So I lived in um, LA. I went to school out there. So. I, I've been in circles, so it wasn't it wasn't my first time. I think it was the first time I really allowed it to be public. Okay, um, just and just the ending of that. Do you want to confirm how that relationship? Uh, I ended up leaving. I walked away from the relationship, um, and it ended very peacefully on our end. You know, it wasn't any domestic violence. It wasn't any cheating um there was not a big blow up like it was me just walking away peacefully to be honest on our end okay all right let's do it so you want to come on this show because you reached out to me so, so that means you're looking mine, for love you want to meet somebody new Phil, um he has a, a company called um extreme step fitness um and but anyways he sent me your page and he was like you should do a live with her. You guys should connect. You guys have similar personalities. And I was like, let's do it. And so I just reached out. But yes, I am single um, and dating. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm always open until I get married again. All right, let's do it. Let's start Cleveland. Up. So, Sabrina, Hi. where are you calling us from? Cleveland. I'm 36. And how old are you? 36. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm also a trainer and a coach. I coach a AAU team track and field for ages five to seventeen. Okay, I'm a Taurus. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Taurus. Two kids. Do you a have nine-year-old kids? boy and eleven-year-old girl. Nine-year-old no. boy, eleven-year-old girl, Different both fathers. by the same man. Different fathers. Oh, uh, don't tell me we have a lag now. Yes. Um, have you ever been married? When when, my, when is your last relationship? Last relationship or my marriage? 
Um, okay, you're right, Mary. I got divorced in 2016. Okay, so let's, we got a lag. So right. that happens sometimes on Instagram. So just wait to okay. like seven seconds before you respond. So you, okay, but the question I asked her, she answered it. When, when did she get divorced? 2016. Um, okay, and 9 and 11 mm -hmm. are your kids' ages, right? So Sabrina, Ohio, she's a trainer. Um, and your Zodiac, oh, she's a Taurus, 36, two kids, nine and 11. Uh, wait seven seconds. What kind of man are you looking for? <laughs> um, is, is it time to answer? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Someone who's very secure with himself, um, an honest man, an experienced man, I, I like to date older men, um, someone who's saved, have a relationship with God, and has his own financial stability. Okay. You know, um, what are your deal breakers? Seven seconds. Oh, wait seven seconds. <laughs> They're yelling at me. They're like, did you count to seven? Um... Okay, so my deal breakers are I don't like men that have children, two or younger. Um, also, addicts, any sort of addiction does not work for me. Someone who is not saved and does not have a relationship with God is a deal breaker for me. Um, also, men that beat women or have a history of it is a deal breaker for me. Okay. In the beginning, you mentioned that, you know, you, you run, you ran a circle. So you dated, I mean, high profile is one word, but men, of, men with money. So does the man have to have money? In order I did to date mention you? he needs to be financially stable. So meaning. But what does that mean? Because that, that's a difference financially stable. I mean, you can work at McDonald's and be financially stable, right? So is there a no. minimum number that you would date? No. Okay. Okay. Um, does he have to no. look a certain way? No. Okay. So you don't care how he looks. You don't um, just be financially stable. The biggest thing I heard was no kid under two. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, the Kendra cam is when you oh. stand up and we see your full body. You definitely have a great shape. I mean, you're a trainer. Thank you. So, you look good. <laughs> okay. All right, they're reminding us again to so have seven seconds. All right, um, wait seven seconds. What was your last relationship? Um, 2021. So, it's, I've been single for two years. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, three weeks ago. Okay. Is yes. Is this an option for something serious? Okay. Yes. So you're actively dating. Okay. Okay. Um, so while you're dating him, you just want to date more men to figure out yeah, if I'm just someone open. that you can settle down I'm just with. still open. I'm not married. I'm not in a committed relationship yet. So... Until that happens, I'm still open. Until that happens, she's still open. Okay, what are three flaws um, you think you I'm have? I'm controlling. My um, tone can come off very harsh. And I lack patience. Yes. yes. You lack patience. You lack patience. I have a question, because in your deal breakers, you brought up no drugs of any source. Um, again, you know, I work in media, but I don't always, you can't always believe everything that you read. Um, when you were dealing with Lamar, because we are familiar with his history, was that one of the issues yes. you guys had in your relationship? Okay. 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 Yeah, so, okay. Fair enough. All right, honey. Why would a guy be lucky to be? Well, number here? one, I definitely understand what it means to be a helpmate, a partner. Um, I feel like men really need to be respected and they need peace. And that is something that I offer. Um, I also love to support my man. I spoil him. Uh, whatever he's doing, I want to heighten that. Um, I take care of the home. 
Um, I'm also, if he's an entrepreneur, that is where I thrive. So I definitely, you know, I'm a good person to be in business with or to just start a new business with and be, you know, partners as an entrepreneur. Um, and I'm very open to just pleasing him. So I figure out what that is because every man is different. And I really tap into what makes him happy, what makes him feel pleased. Okay. A cousin, Kian G, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I pinned it. She said, Kendra, ask her about Rick Ross. <laughs> what about him? She is, that's what the question is. Yeah. Did you date him, I'm assuming, or are y'all friends? What's yep. the situation? We dated and we're friends, both. Both, okay. So I guess I guess they're familiar with you dating him. Let me ask, I didn't know that. Um, let me ask you this. Do you think, though, with being connected to different celebrities in the dating space, is do you, um, do you think oh, that might be a hindrance absolutely. to some men? Yeah. Other men? It definitely um, it, okay. it intimidates a lot Have of certain men. Um, I get a misconception a lot that I'm only willing to date one type just because of a few that they may be familiar with. Um, but yeah, so it definitely has been an issue and I know it can be. Okay, so you know that it can be. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's do it. This is Sabrina, Ohio. Oh, no, I, I prefer he is not in Ohio. <laughs> so would you relocate or are you just like, we all, yeah, if it became really right serious, now? I definitely would relocate for sure. Okay, you would. And you said he can't have kids, but not under two. I'm Do you want open to yourself? not having any? And I'm also open to having more. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. So the Sabrina, Ohio trainer, she's a coach also. She's 36. Oh, what's the age range? Um, you know what? The, the oldest would probably be like 55. Because there are some nice looking 50 year olds now that are taking care of themselves. I probably will not go under like 30, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. So, and what's um, the oldest she would go under 55? That's pushing it, but he would have to be a very special 55 year old. A very special 55. Okay. Okay. Oh, we forgot all about that seven second rule, child. Um, two kids, 9 11. One, one time. Married twice, right? One time. Would you get married again? <laughs> Wait seven seconds. Yes, I would get married again. Yes. She would get married again. All right, they killing me. Okay, we sorry about the seven second rule, child. All right, so if a guy is watching and he wants to reach out to you, how can he reach out to you? Wait seven seconds. The best way to reach me is through social media. You can go on my DMs. I do answer them if, you know, if you come correct. He said, if you, you come, well, yeah, they're supposed yes. to DM you. So you're going to check, check my That's how it works. Oh, uh, but you said if they come correct, because sometimes Absolutely. men can be disrespectful in your DMs. Okay. Yeah, I can feel you on that one. All right, well, this is my first time meeting you. Like I said, she sent me a DM about coming on the show. So um, I will make you a highlight. And the way it will work is once you're highlighted, your contact info will be added. And if a guy meets the description and what you describe, All right, sounds good. Thank you, you, Kendra. All right, bye, baby girl.